Raleigh, North Carolina is nationally known as one of the top cities to move to. But where in Raleigh should you live? Hello everyone, this is Chris Morton, real estate broker with eXp Realty in Raleigh, North Carolina. In this video, we're gonna break down the different sections, the different parts of Raleigh, North Carolina, so you can decide where is the best place for you to move to. We're gonna give you all the details about housing in that specific area, the restaurants, the shopping, things to do, just about anything you need to do to make a good decision. Let's start off with downtown Raleigh, and downtown Raleigh is located in the center of the city in the downtown section. That's really why we call it downtown Raleigh. This is a very exciting part of town. Lots of stuff going on, lots of restaurants, lots of shopping, lots of bars. Most of the area is really walkable, especially if you live nearby some of the fun stuff going on. But you probably still want to have a car with you. Probably the best thing to do. There is some grocery stores around, but by and large, you're probably gonna have to drive to get to one of the grocery stores. So there's all kinds of different housing in the downtown Raleigh area, everything from small townhomes and condos all the way up to mega mansions ranging in price up to five and a half million dollars. Lots of old historic homes, lots of homes with character, bungalows, that sort of thing in downtown Raleigh. Also, back to those mega mansions, you're going to see a lot of those smaller homes right next door to a very large newly built home. And what's happened is a builder has come along, they bought a home that was dilapidated, falling down or defective in some way. They tore it down and put a very nice new home on that lot. The median price for condos and townhomes in downtown Raleigh is $500,000 currently. And the median price for single family homes in downtown Raleigh currently is $935,000. And in addition to all of the for sale townhomes, condos and single family homes. There's of course a good number of apartments in downtown Raleigh. There's a few tall skyscraper buildings down on Fayetteville Street. There's some apartment complexes on Glenwood South area and then some others scattered here and there in the area. And as far as things to do in downtown Raleigh, there are a ton of museums. So if you're a museum lover, it's definitely somewhere you want to check out. The Contemporary Art Museum is in downtown Raleigh, as well as the Museum of Natural Sciences the North Carolina Museum of History, and the Marbles Kids Museum. Duke Energy Center for Performing Arts is also downtown where you can catch a Broadway show. And if you're into parks, Dick's Park, as well as many, many pocket parks are in the downtown Raleigh area. As far as shopping and restaurants, as we've said before, there are a lot of shops and restaurants in downtown Raleigh. A lot of them are walkable from where you live if you live in downtown Raleigh. Glenwood South and Fayetteville Street are two of the most notable areas for shopping, restaurants, bars, that sort of thing. And there are many coffee shops in the downtown Raleigh area. In addition, there are two food halls. Morgan Street Food Hall and Transfer Food Hall are both in downtown Raleigh. Very, very nice locations, very much an, a lot of options for a lot of different people with a lot of the food hall restaurants that are in there. As far as grocery stores go, there's a Publix, Whole Foods, Fresh Market, Harris Teeter, among many, many other grocery stores in downtown. Again, the only negative about the whole living in downtown thing is you're probably gonna need a car because the grocery stores are sort of scattered and unless you live really, really close and can walk to them, you're probably gonna need a car to get to them. And in addition, last but not least, one of our favorite restaurants, Sam Jones Barbecue, is in downtown Raleigh. We recommend you go check it out, especially if you want Eastern North Carolina Pit Cook Barbecue. And speaking of Sam Jones Barbecue, make sure you stay until the end of this video for our 10,000 subscriber giveaway, where we will be sending one of you to Sam Jones Barbecue and another one of you to another great restaurant also in Raleigh. The next section of Raleigh we need to tell you about is Midtown. It is located directly in the middle, Midtown, directly in the middle between downtown and North Raleigh. This area has a lot going on. It's very much an up and coming area and it is a very, very popular destination for people to either live in or drive into for dinner, shopping, that sort of thing. If you live in Midtown, it's very, very walkable. Lots of restaurants, lots of coffee shops, lots of things that you can easily walk to by and large. Still probably gonna wanna have a car unless you live very, very close to say the North Hills complex. But in general, you're gonna be okay 
occasionally driving a car getting from point A to point B. As we said, North Hills is in Midtown. It is one of the most popular destinations in the Triangle, if not in the entire state. Just about anything you can imagine is there from coffee shop to a Target to grocery store, dry cleaner, just about anything at all. Restaurants and shopping, obviously. Great complex, award-winning complex. We've done videos on it in the past. We definitely recommend you check those videos out. And as far as housing goes, well, obviously because of the great demand to live around the North Hills area and in general how convenient Midtown is to the rest of the city and the Triangle, housing can be a little bit pricey in Midtown. Neighborhoods are a mix of 70s and 80s homes along with some teardowns like you saw in downtown Raleigh. There'll be teardowns in Midtown as well. And those teardowns are coming in around two to four million dollars, although lately they've been leaning more towards the four million dollar range. There are some luxury apartments in Midtown, especially in the North Hills complex where a new high rise apartment complex building has come, where the penthouse is going for $15,000 a month. The median price for a condo or a townhouse in the Midtown area is $452,000, while the median price for a single family home including those 70s and 80s homes and the brand new homes is $825,000. So things to do in Midtown? Well, obviously we've talked about it. North Hills is here. Great walkability, shopping, all of that stuff. But in addition, Crabtree Valley Mall is here. Crabtree is one of the top regional malls in the Southeast. Really, truly a destination mall. One of the two largest malls in the Triangle. Uh, very upscale, lots of different shops, lots of different restaurants, and has for many, many years been a destination in and of itself. In addition, because you're so close to downtown Raleigh, you can definitely claim and know that you have access to all the stuff downtown offers, such as those shops, those restaurants, those bars, all of that. As far as shopping and restaurants go, well, first we should talk about grocery stores. Costco is here, Trader Joe's is here, Wegmans is here, Harris Teeter is here, among many, many others. We've also talked about Crabtree Valley Mall for shopping, truly a destination, and North Hills for shopping. And we mustn't forget Raleigh's Midtown East, which is also in the Midtown area. It's a new complex. It's just opened up sort of near where Costco is in Trader Joe's. Torchy's, the taco restaurant out of Austin, Texas is here. Cava is here. Starbucks is here. Wegmans, pet people for your four-legged family members is here among many many other shops and restaurants next up we have west raleigh and west raleigh sits between downtown raleigh and Cary. it is very centrally located especially if you work in research triangle park but want to live in raleigh or someone else in your family works in raleigh west raleigh is probably the best place the best of both worlds a good compromise so what's it like well there's some very established quaint neighborhoods here in west raleigh the area is largely dominated by nc state university and so a lot of the restaurants a lot of the shops especially around the university caters to university students. It has the Village District, which is formerly known as Cameron Village in West Raleigh. This is another one of those destination shopping, dining locations in the Triangle. Uh, been around since I believe the 50s, maybe earlier than that. Apologies for those out there who know better than me. Feel free to put comments below correcting me. Uh, restaurants, shopping, there is a fresh market here, grocery store, very much a destination, especially for people that live around it. But I will say we live about five miles from the village district, Cameron Village, and we go there quite often for the restaurants. Really, really good stuff there. And a good mix of, again, restaurants and shopping. As far as types of housing in West Raleigh, well, obviously with the university there, you're gonna have a lot of apartments. There are some luxury neighborhoods for sale in West Raleigh, but most of them are like bungalow quaint, homes that were built in the 50s and 60s and 70s. Some contemporaries here as well, especially around that village district. And there are some teardowns in West Raleigh, but again, most of them are the older quaint homes that are you're gonna find in that section of Raleigh. The median price for condos and townhomes in West Raleigh currently is $266,000. And the median price for a single family home in West Raleigh currently is $660,000. And incidentally, the reason why we're seeing $260,000 is the median Median price for townhomes condos is really because of the university community and the 
condos, townhomes, all of that sort of stuff that is near the university. Obviously, it's going to be smaller, less expensive than some of the luxury stuff that you're going to find over by the Village District or other parts of West Raleigh. So just FYI. Things to do in West Raleigh? Well, obviously, there's plenty of restaurants and, and shopping, especially around Hillsborough Street and the NC State campus. The PNC Arena is in West Raleigh, so you can have the opportunity to go catch a hockey game from the professional NHL hockey team, the Carolina Hurricanes, or NC State basketball plays college basketball in the ACC conference in the PNC Arena. Also, the state fairgrounds are in West Raleigh, and we mustn't forget the North Carolina State Farmers Market is also in West Raleigh. This is a great place. We've talked about it many times in videos in the past. Great place to go, especially on weekends, fresh vegetables, fresh anything, and at the very least, go people watching. The North Carolina Art Museum is in West Raleigh, as is Pullen Park, which is a very large, nice park. Great place for picnic, walking around, communing with nature, and getting some fresh air. J.C. Ralston Arboretum is in West Raleigh, sort of near Pullen Park. As well, the Rose Garden is near NC State. And there's a Drive Shack location in West Raleigh for those of you who want to go play some golf. As far as shopping and restaurants in West Raleigh, you have the Raleigh Flea Market in West Raleigh. You have all the shops and restaurants on Hillsborough Street near NC State, the Village District, formerly known as Cameron Village, and plenty of grocery stores and other shops kind of scattered and intermingled amongst all of the neighborhoods in West Raleigh. Next up, we have South Raleigh. South Raleigh is between downtown Raleigh and Garner. Although full disclosure, South Raleigh is really kind of intermingled all throughout the southern part of the county. They get a Raleigh address if they're not in the Fuquay Verena or Garner or Clayton city limits. So be aware that if someone says South Raleigh, they could mean quite a large geographic area. So what is South Raleigh like? Well, there's not a whole lot going on there currently. It's really quite the industrial area. Lots of manufacturing stuff and, and warehouses and that sort of thing are in South Raleigh. The good news is the price of housing is not so expensive down there. But there are some changes coming to South Raleigh. Downtown South is coming. It is a large complex. Part one of the owners is the owner of North Hill. So you can imagine what it's gonna end up looking like. There's gonna be apartments, housing, office space, shopping, restaurants, and eventually a professional soccer stadium. Our goal is to get our local soccer team converted over to be one of the professional major league soccer teams. And construction is ongoing currently on downtown South. As far as type of housing in South Raleigh, again, fairly affordable, especially compared to the rest of Raleigh. Unfortunately, not a lot of luxury homes in South Raleigh. So if you're looking for one of those $5 million homes, probably not gonna have very much luck in South Raleigh so far yet but we'll see where things go there are several newer neighborhoods in the south raleigh area they generally skew to the middle income lower income price brackets so definitely some affordable stuff there definitely some very good values there are a lot of townhomes in south raleigh as well as a lot of single family ranch style homes the median price for condos and townhomes in south raleigh is currently coming in at $352,000, while the median price for a single family home in South Raleigh is currently coming in at $440,000. As far as things to do in South Raleigh, well, there's unfortunately not a lot going on in South Raleigh. You really pretty much have to go to downtown for restaurant shopping, all of that sort of thing. Most of the restaurants and shopping in South Raleigh are more of the chain variety, your Walmarts and Targets and that sort of thing. White Oak Shopping Center is in nearby Garner, very easily accessible to anyone who lives in South Raleigh, where you're gonna find Target and Cabela's and a bunch of restaurants and some really good stuff there. Yates Historic Park is in South Raleigh, as well as Lake Wheeler and Lake Benson. As far as shopping and restaurants go, there is some restaurants and shopping in South Raleigh. Most notably, there is a Sam's Club, and of course we said you can get easily to the White Oak Shopping Center in Garner. And there are some restaurants, but again, mostly chain stuff. And if you want anything really of a nice variety, you're probably gonna need to go to downtown Raleigh. Next up, we have East and Northeast Raleigh. And we've connected these two areas because they're so very much close together geographically. Capitol Boulevard and New Bern Avenue are the two main roads in East and Northeast Raleigh. And what's it like? Well, homes are pretty varied in this area. Everything from the 1960s all the way to the 2000s. This is a much more affordable area of Raleigh, especially compared to 
Midtown, North Raleigh, and Downtown Raleigh. Capitol Boulevard is a very, very busy road, and that's, again, one of the main arteries you're gonna see a lot of. Strip malls on Capitol Boulevard, lots of restaurants, and at the very top of Capitol Boulevard, just past 540, you're gonna find Triangle Town Center Mall. As well, if you are looking to buy a car, you're gonna probably find what you're looking for in East Northeast Raleigh. There's a lot of different car dealerships going up and down Capitol Boulevard. So as far as what it's like, this is not the most exciting part of Raleigh, not a lot of action going on here, but again, tremendous value for your money as far as housing goes, and it's pretty easily accessible to most every other part of Raleigh and the Triangle. Very easy to get to Research Triangle Park using 540, very easy to get downtown Raleigh using Capitol Boulevard. So as far as type of housing in East and Northeast Raleigh, there's very little luxury homes in this area. Most things skewed to the middle income, lower income range. The median price for condos and townhomes in East and Northeast Raleigh is currently sitting at $303,000, while the median price for a single family home in East and Northeast Raleigh is currently sitting at $405,000. As far as things to do, again, there's not a whole lot to do here. It's definitely a bedroom community part of the Raleigh area. There is Buffalo Road Athletic Park here with lots of walking trails. It's definitely attached to the Greenway, which is great. There are baseball, softball fields and a giant field in the middle of the park where lots of people play soccer or football or run around the track. Horseshoe Park is also in Northeast Raleigh. And as I mentioned just a minute ago, Triangle Town Center Mall is here. This mall has been struggling a bit as of late, especially since the pandemic. It's recently been sold and we're hoping for the best that it's gonna get rehabilitated and add some new shops in. It's a great location. There's some good stuff there now and we're definitely hoping and confident things are gonna get even better there. And last but not least, Alamo Draft House Movie Theater out of Austin, Texas is in East and Northeast Raleigh. It's a great place to go watch a movie, have a great meal, super, super cool place. So as far as shopping and restaurants in East Northeast Raleigh goes, most everything you're gonna find are chain restaurants, although there are some hole-in-the-wall restaurants along New Bern Avenue that are kind of cool, such as Pho Oxtail, a Vietnamese restaurant that's on Capitol Boulevard. There's a couple of really cool Jamaican restaurants in this area, as well as Red Pepper Chinese, among a couple of other really good Chinese restaurants. Mexican restaurants, and again, lots of those chain restaurants you would expect, like Chili's and Applebee's and that sort of thing. As well, Again, we have shopping at Triangle Town. We have strip malls all throughout this area. And there's a few good restaurants at the Triangle Town Center Mall. Let's check it out. Next up, we have North Raleigh. And the way we talk about North Raleigh on this channel a lot, some people may think it's actually its own city. It's not. It's a section of Raleigh that is north of Midtown, all the way up to kind of the border of Wake Forest. It is very much a residential area, although there are some really good shopping and really, really good restaurants in North Raleigh. So what's it like? Well, if you're gonna use one word to define North Raleigh, it's gonna be suburbia. Lots of single family homes in this area. It's a little bit less congested than you're gonna see in Midtown or Downtown Raleigh. You're definitely gonna need a car if you live in North Raleigh just warning you ahead of time. And much of the area is centered around Falls Lake, which is the main water source for the city of Raleigh. Lots of beautiful parks, beautiful trees, beautiful neighborhoods, definitely a really, really nice part of our town. As far as types of housing, there are all types of housing in North Raleigh, everything from 1960s split levels, all the way up to brand new construction homes. Generally in the area south of Interstate 540, you're gonna see homes built before 2000, and anything north of 540 you're gonna see, in general, built after 2000. There is new construction mixed in throughout North Raleigh, but a lot of that is the result of tearing down an older home and putting a newer home on the lot. As well, there are plenty of apartment rentals in the North Raleigh area. It's very, very popular residential, as we've said, as well as townhomes and condos. The median price for a townhome or a condo in the North Raleigh area currently is $340,000 while the median price for a single family home in North Raleigh currently is $640,000. As far as things to do, well, there's Falls Lake where you can go hiking or boating. Again, it's the main water source for the area and a very, very large lake. Lake Lynn is in North Raleigh, as well as Shelley Lake, which is a great lake to go walking around and running and hanging out with friends and whatnot. 
There's also some great restaurants in North Raleigh. Lafayette Village is here. It's a French European destination shopping dining experience kind of at the corner of Falls of Noose and 540. Definitely worth checking out. Lifetime Fitness is also in North Raleigh, right beside Lafayette. It's a gigantic workout pool mega complex. I like to call it basically a luxurious resort without the hotel. As well, Northridge Country Club and Wakefield Country Club, where you can definitely practice your golfing skills, are both in North Raleigh. As far as shopping and restaurants go, again, as we've said, amazing restaurants, definitely some really good things to check out. And again, Lafayette, which we just mentioned, great restaurants, great shopping. There's a wine bar in there, restaurants, all kinds of stuff, definitely recommended. As far as grocery stores go, there's uh, Whole Foods, Fresh Market, a couple of Food Lions, a couple of Hair Cedars, basically just about anywhere you can imagine you're gonna find a grocery store nearby. Next up we have Northwest Raleigh. This is the part of Raleigh that's between North Raleigh and Durham and Mooresville, that sort of section. Very, very close to Research Triangle Park, very close to the airport. This area is centered around Umstead Park, which is a 6,000 plus acre park where you can go hiking, biking, walking, about anything you can imagine. You should know a good percentage of Northwest Raleigh is in the RDU air traffic flight path, although there's quite a few parts of the area that are not. One of the positives of Northwest Raleigh, beyond the fact of its location, is homes tend to be a little bit more affordable than what you're gonna find up in North Raleigh, Midtown, or Downtown Raleigh. There are all types of different homes in the Northwest Raleigh area, although most are built between the 80s and the 2000s, with some new construction still going on in this area. The median price for a townhome or a condo currently in Northwest Raleigh is $400,000 and the median price for a single family home in Northwest Raleigh is currently $548,000. As far as things to do in Northwest Raleigh, again, there's that 6,000 plus acre Umstead Park. There's lots of destination shopping like at Briar Creek Country Club where you can both golf and go to Target among other things. There are quite a few different grocery stores in Northwest Raleigh including a very, very large Harris Teeter just on the outskirts of the Briar Creek area. And speaking of Briar Creek, as far as restaurants and shopping go, it is one of the major destinations in all of Raleigh, but especially in Northwest Raleigh. And another destination, if not the destination for Northwest Raleigh is the Angus Barn. It is a steakhouse that is truly well, well known all over the city, state, and country. They have an amazing wine list. Steakhouse, as I said, gingham, tablecloths, very, very casual vibe, but definitely somewhere where you can imagine taking friends, dates, family, or a very, very important business meeting and everything in between. And incidentally, Angus Barn won our number two best burger in the triangle that we did a contest of a few months back. Amazing burger. It's like 20 bucks, somewhere in that range, and it will easily feed two adults. It's out of this world. And speaking of the Angus Barn, we are running a contest where we are giving one of you a $250 gift card to the Angus Barn as the grand prize and a $50 gift card to Sam Jones Barbecue that we mentioned earlier in this video as the second prize. This is to celebrate this channel hitting 10,000 subscribers recently. To enter, just click on the 10,000 subscriber contest link in the description below and make sure you also subscribe so you don't miss it when we announce the winners. So with all that being said, if you are considering a move either into or out of Raleigh, or really anywhere in the Triangle, my team and I would love to be your agents of choice. You can call us on the number below, email us at hello at mortonbradbury.com, or click on the link in the description to get everything started. Please like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And as always, we appreciate you watching. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.